Hello, I am SJ at What The Trick Math. So we're gonna take a look at Math Whiteboard today. So here we are at mathwhiteboard.com and we're gonna create a new whiteboard for today's video. We can join one if we have the code and we're gonna see how we can copy the link to share with people to join our whiteboard too. So we're gonna click new whiteboard and here we go. It's gonna give us a little overview of some of the things we can do in here. We can write with our finger or our stylus, we can type, we can annotate um, diagrams or drawings, we can type text, and it handwrites and recognizes the finger typed or stylus written work that we do. Um, but probably my favorite feature is to rub it all out and erase it with a scribble. Um, so let's have a look. So this is the whiteboard then, and I'm just going to start writing for you. And I'm going to write 3 plus 2 equals 5 in my best writing. And you can see it's picked it up as a sum. 3 plus 2 equals 5 there. And if I click on that, there's the typed version of that for me. So a really simple way to handwrite and recognise the, the work that we're putting in. If I write in 4 plus 1 and I leave gaps in between, you can see it's not picking it up as a sum. It's got a little question mark there as well. So I wasn't quite close enough when I was writing it. But it did pick it up as, as best it could and it gives me the green symbol to indicate that. So I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to scribble over it. And you can see it just disappears. Like I say, it's my favourite, favourite feature and it's just gone for me. So let's have a look at another sum. So if I write in 2 plus 2 equals 4, you can see that it's picking up that sum there and I can either leave it as my handwritten math or I can click on it and there's my typed maths as well. So once we're in here then, we can copy the link and get other people to join us. And we just click that, copy that link and we might drop that into a Google Classroom assignment, a Teams assignment on Microsoft Teams. We might drop it into a chat or even the chat box in a Zoom meeting. Fully accessible for everybody to come on board on the same whiteboard. Couple of options then at the top, we've had a little look at the writing of math and it is American so it does say math, not maths for us. You can also type. So if we click on here to type, I can start typing in um, an equation here. So if I write in three times four equals 12, oh, and you see it's picked up the curly X. Now it's beautiful that it's picked that up for me, but I will just change that and put the spaces in between. And you can see here that it's got the, the X and it's, picking up that it's X and we can play with those X values and we'll explore that in another video and we'll just get rid of that for now. We can also type text so we can just make notes as we're going through. So we might want to tag that this is my work. This is my work over here and then someone else might tag that it's their work over there. So we can type and we can insert as well text box. Maths, if we've got it from somewhere else, so perhaps we've got some maths in latex that we've written in equation or something similar, we can paste that in. We can drop a number line in, we can change the background. So let's just drop in on the background. And you can see, you set it to a blank background, but you can insert a picture from a camera, which I think is um, super fantastic. Perhaps you've got some handwritten paper notes and you want to take a picture of it and pop it on your maths whiteboard as well. So you've got the handwritten paper notes as well as what you've written online. Also on here then, you've got graph and number line and we will take a look at those in further videos. So that was just our beginning look at math whiteboard.com